Peggy 7. Hello, my name is Denis Filipovic and I'm a creative supervisor here at Bluebyte on the project Anno 2070. Today I'm going to show you the meta game, which is a big new feature on Anno 2070 and which was never seen in an Anno before. So, we have the Senate as at first, which is one of the features which allows the player to change the game world and change the balancing values of the game world so that all players can decide in a democratic way what change for the coming next week they want to have. In this example we have um, a vote uh, on fishing and the fishing is uh, a little bit overdone in the world. So there are th three factions, the techs, the echoes and the tycoons and they are proposing a solution to the problem and after a week of voting the players will then have an outcome and the effect will count for all the player base so the community as a whole is deciding about the gameplay effects that affects all of them and they have to live with it with the negative consequences as well as with the positive. Another feature we have is the vote for the current president. The president in the World Council vote is also one of the representatives of each faction. We have Father representing the Tex, we have Seamus Green representing the Echoes and we have Skylar Baines representing the Tycoons and they also come with unique abilities. So when you're in the game and you have a problem, for example, your industry is not doing well and you need to accommodate, you can select one of those abilities to boost your energy production or to boost your manufacturing production and overcome your problems. And depending on which of those factions the player community has chosen, you have a different set of unique abilities at your disposal. Another new feature of the meta game is the, um, the world affair feature which um, is basically a single player scenario but all the players are playing together on one common goal. So by completing the scenario we generate community points and the whole community as a whole has to play together to reach the winning conditions to unlock new bonus content titles and portraits for themselves and they all play in single player but they work towards a common goal to re reach a bigger achievement. As a motivation to log in every day and to see what's going on, we also offer daily quests, which means you can jump into your safe game or make a new single player game and complete a daily quest. You can go to the quest screen, accept one of the daily quests from, all the from, from each of the three factions, jump into your single player game, complete the quest and earn reputation points for the faction. So all in all, the meta game is a new feature never seen before in any Anno or similar title and it will add a more complex system on top of the main game which influences the single player experience and the multiplayer experience from another layer. I hope you like it.